Hey there. Welcome to the Flute 360 podcast. I'm Dr. Heidi K. Begay, and I'm a flutist, educator, coach, and podcaster. My God given mission is to serve you. I am passionate about guiding you, the modern day flutist, to discover your unique voice on and off the stage. The goal of this podcast is to help you thrive, both as an artist and as a musicpreneur. Go ahead and grab some espresso, your favorite notepad, and let's get to it. Today's episode 294 is titled, Visible and Valued, Embrace Selling as an Invitation to Help. Hey there, Flute 360 er How much did you just love and enjoy NFA 2024? I think honestly, and I swear I'm not just saying this because it was in Texas, I swear I think NFA 2024 was probably one of my most favorite flute festivals of all time. Mostly because, well, Flute 360 had a booth, But because of that booth, I was able to connect and or reconnect with you, the listener. Thank you times a million for stopping by the booth and sharing heartfelt conversations with me. I loved hearing about your life and your personal goals, your professional goals, and your artistic goals. Thank you for laughing with me, crying with me, and everything in between. If we had not chatted through San Antonio, feel free to always pick up the phone, send me an email. I would love to hear from you. So from those conversations, I want to get right into some meaty, valuable, juicy content for you as we are going into the new academic year. And that juicy content that I'm referring to is one of the biggest pain points I heard from you, the 360 year, is you want to scale. You want to grow, whether it is through your flute studio or your gigging schedule, or perhaps scaling and creating remote flute courses. You have big dreams and aspirations for the upcoming academic year. Let me help you. So what I heard, whether it is playing gigs or teaching gigs and everything in between, the biggest hurdle I heard was, how do I sell? Ugh, this is a big pain point because again, music school being in the music, you know, curriculum through the traditional collegiate or graduate program, they don't teach you how to sell, let alone creating a full out product suite, right? But you have this idea, you are a creative artist. You have these amazing ideas for compositions for said venue. You have these fantastic ideas that you want to relay flute pedagogical ideas through your remote course or subscription. Perhaps you wanna set up a concert schedule through Botanical Gardens. You have these ideas as a creative flutist. Sorry, I think I just hit the mic, but we're going to keep moving on. So you have these amazing ideas, right? But you don't know how to get people into your product, service, or offering. I hear you. You're not alone. So I think the biggest mistake that a lot of flutists make, unfortunately, is perhaps you see it as sales. Now, technically, it is selling, It is a sale because you are asking for somebody's payment method. Check, man, I'm old school. (laughs) Check, credit card, you get the gist. You are asking for them to swipe their card for your product, service, or offering. And that can feel salesy and sleazy. You have to reframe it. You have to see it as not you being this sleazy car salesperson in the parking lot saying, you know, while wiggling the car keys, what do I have to do today to get you in this brand new shiny car? No, you have to kick that to the curb. That is X nay. You have to see it as 
an opportunity to enroll or invite your ideal dream client into said offering, okay? Because you are a teacher. You are an artist at heart. You live your life with full exploration and curiosity of tapping into emotions, conveying experiences, and relaying amazing content for your people. Lead with that. Please lead with that. Because when you lead and when you show up in that way, you are going to feel authentic. Now, there's an art and a science to sales, and I don't want to get into all of that. But first and foremost, shift your paradigm. Shift how you view sales. If you see it as an invitation, well, then that takes pressure off of you, right? It's easy to invite your friend over for coffee. It's easy to invite your colleague to lunch to discuss, you know, the new business plan. You get the idea. Invitations come easy. Why? Because it's a human interaction from one person to the next. You are merely doing that through your business, through your flute studio, through your gigging schedule. You are inviting somebody who you know you could serve on a really deep, amazing level in X capacity. So that's the first thing that I want to offer you. Remember, you are helping them achieve X goal, okay? Paint them a picture. Show them how your product or offering can really serve them in said capacity. So for example, if your ideal client is a high school flute student, and you really want to onboard some new students for your upcoming academic year, know your dream client. What are their wins? What are their wishes? What are their hopes, aspirations, dreams, hurdles, and pain points? Show them that you get their world. Show them that you understand and empathize with them, okay? Walk them through and paint a picture for them to dictate that you have the solution. Now, when you lead with this value and you say, hey, one, I get your world, right? I've been there or past students of mine have been there. Let me help you. And then you can lead them to their yes. And you can really demonstrate how you or your service can transform their life in their playing or career goals. Okay, now the pressure is off of you. You are purely and merely inviting somebody into your world so you can help them achieve said transformation. Now, going back to what you are ultimately doing as you are expanding, establishing, and scaling your flute business, whether it's playing or teaching or, you know, remote courses and everything in between, At the end of the day, it really is sales though, right? It's a transaction. Please don't see it as this sleazy thing, okay? Truly, it is a transaction where one party says, I am swiping my card because I see the value that you are bringing to the table. And that's just a mere transaction. That's purely saying there's value here and you are exchanging that value from monetary means into the transformation that they will achieve in two, three, four, five, six months. Okay. So just have this paradigm shift and take the pressure off of you as you are inviting and enrolling your people into and through your product suite. Now, the last thing that I want to offer you today is please show up for yourself. It is extremely difficult at times to show up for yourself and for your business when it is crickets, when you are not seeing likes on your social media post, when nobody is booking for your free trial session. Trust me, (laughs) I have been there. It is so daunting and disheartening not to hear back from your people. Guess what? Keep showing up. You're not getting likes on your Instagram post keep showing up. Nobody's coming to your lives, keep showing up. 
keep showing up, keep showing up, keep showing up. And I'm emphasizing this and sounding like a broken record because I have seen it time and time again. People are listening. People really are watching you. They may not have time to hit the heart button. They may not have time to hit the follow or subscribe through your YouTube channel, but they are watching you, whether it is close up or from afar, okay? So I just want to give you that encouragement because it may seem bleak from time to time. And the reason why I encourage you to keep showing up even when you don't see the likes, DMs, emails is because your future self will thank your past self, okay? There are times, I cannot tell you how many times I wanted to throw away the Flute 360 podcast. Ask Eric. He will be witness to it. Every single time when I was like, oh my gosh, who are my people, da, 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 literally, he'd be like, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I'm so glad he encouraged me to do that. And I want to give you the same encouragement from me to you. So not only are they really watching, right? And of course, my disclaimer is if the engagement is not there and you just know like something is off, then yes, hire a coach. (laughs) Don't keep repeating the same system and expect different results if you're not happy with those results, right? So you obviously know that. But the reason why I keep saying, please show up anyways, even if you feel like you don't want to, or you're not really seeing the momentum that you want to see is because one, it takes time. Okay. I will be really frank with you. When you are building out a brand, a studio, a concert schedule, it does take time. It takes time to get to know your dream client. It takes time to build and nurture these relationships. So that's why I don't want you to be disheartened, okay? Show up anyways. Even when it feels like crickets, show up anyways. And the other reason why I say keep showing up is because it will always come back to you. I promise. It seems so wonky and out there and you're like, oh my gosh, Heidi, what are you on? This is so woo-woo. No, it will come back to you, okay? This is what I tell my coaching clients and students all the time. Let me paint you a picture. So for example, I have been really upping the ante with my Flute 360 studio for the upcoming year. And if you know, and if you follow me through social media, you have seen these announcements, right? Now, specifically through Instagram and Facebook, it's been like, okay, crickets, right? But the minute I met some of you at NFA, man, oh man, magic happened, okay? And I wasn't expecting for people to sign up into the studio at NFA. Why not? Well, because I know how crazy busy NFA can be. The other thing that felt like it came out of left field were past students of mine who I hadn't seen for a year or two came out from nowhere, air quote, nowhere, and said, hey, for 2425, do you have available slots, Dr. Heidi, in your studio? I would love to be a student in the current season. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. I didn't even think of Jane or Joe in that way. I thought they left the studio, bye-bye, and they moved on, which is a-okay. But things change, circumstances change, budgets change. So even though this is a really good example, and I'm just using my world to paint this picture for you, even though I was projecting and inviting people through Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook into the studio, it was crickets. And I'm like, where are my people? But then next thing you know, these past students are coming in. And if they, you know, in these relationships and conversations, people are coming in. And I had not anticipated that. So the mere fact that I just showed up through social media saying, this is who I am. This is the offering. I can help you in this way. It felt like crickets. But by just showing up, you are declaring to God and you are saying, here I am. Use me. I want to be held accountable 
and I am ready to receive the blessings that you want to give me. Here I am. Then out of left field, NFA is an opportunity and past students, that's an opportunity, et cetera, et cetera. Is that not amazing? I think by you just going to God and saying, hey, this is what I want. This is what I want to achieve. I am going to hold this as a responsibility. This is my priority. And by you merely showing up and putting out that ask, putting out that invitation, it may not come down the right path or the path you had anticipated, but it will come down another avenue. I promise you, time's a million. And to wrap up today's episode, I want to let you know that if you are not visible, you are not selling, okay? I know it feels like at times you could feel like you are annoying people with your offerings. Guess what? If said people are annoyed, they are not your dream client. Show up for yourself, show up for your food studio, business, concert tour, and for your future dream client. They will thank you later, I promise, okay? Show up, be visible, and you will enroll your dream clients. And speaking of enrolling, I would be remiss not to invite you into the studio in some capacity. If you want one-on-one private work with me, you can grab one of the four remaining slots for the 2425 academic year. My email is in the show notes below. Or if you want community support, we have a 30-day free trial through our Flute 360 Accelerator program. The links are found below and enjoy. Thank you for listening to the Flute 360 podcast. Please subscribe, rate, and review through your favorite podcast app, such as Apple, Spotify, and iHeartRadio, among others. Thanks. Let's talk about flute.